Game of Thrones season two, episode three, what is dead may never die. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go guys. Hey, by the way, man, just a fun little game. You guys let me know in the comments what you think that is on my basketball goal. So you guys let me know and the winning comment gets $500 million. And then um, tell us what you think a good name for it will be because we don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really big hint, by the way. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. Oh yeah, that's Dragon Song. Whoa, look at it, look at it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, so we just gonna rewatch this. Absolutely. It's like Fortnite. Falling in. <laughs> That's where you're dropping. I'm not dropping there. I am. I'm gonna pick up about 15 kills real quick. I'm not. The hound's gonna whoop my butt. <laughs> He's gonna straight and knock me out. Okay, but look over here. Dragonstone. That's cool. Isn't that where they did that sorcery on the beach? Pike. That's where Theon's from. Right. The man who killed John Wick's dog. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. Go watch John Wick, Patreon. Just just go watch it. It's terrible. It's <laughs> awful. Our reaction to it was awful. Let's the editing was horrible. Did we miss the club scene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I accidentally deleted a 40-minute scene. <laughs> hey, you live and you learn. Let's go, dude. I'm really trying to appreciate this in a way that, like, you know how when we started our channel, we were watching Marvel? Yeah, you know how like, we really learned to appreciate it? Mm -hmm. Trying to appreciate this one early. Out, all of you. Bastards be meddling where he shouldn't. <laughs> Dang, John. <laughs> and your men gone. I'll make this right. Oh, he's saying cut his head off. We're outside. Go, Commander. Now! I don't know, man. I say you just throw him out in the snow. No, nah, he has the hot goss. He knows what's up. If he wants to get back in the house, he'll tell you something. How much you want to bet? Oh, no. He's going to have to cut his head off. Lord Commander, leave us. What did you do? I followed him. He took the baby into the woods, the newborn. What business is that of yours? He's killing them, all the boys. He, you know. Ooh. What does oh, he know? No, that he did that. Those boys are his offerings. Offerings? He's murdering his own children. He's a monster. Ah, many a time, that monster's been the difference between life and death for our rangers. Your uncle among them. Ooh. We have other wars to fight out there. I see. Like it or not, we need men like Craster. Baby murderers? I saw it. So, talk to him, John. Oh, so he thinks it's a wildling. Something to that, John. Whatever it was, I dare say you'll see it again. We we'll leave at dawn. I'd have been asking questions, baby. I'd have been like, "Well, what'd you see? What was it? What did it look like?" Don't lose it again. That guy really believes in him. Unless, of course, he already knows what he saw. Do you think he knows that there's White Walkers out there? I think he does. Just because he just knows things out there. He's just smarter than we are <laughs> on this show. Are they about to cage this girl up? Oh, she's pregnant, right? Mm hmm You're leaving. I wanted to give you something. Oh, he's farting. <laughs> I belong to my mother. I can't take Please. it. Please. What was it? What? My mother used it for sewing. She'd let me sit with her in a chamber while she sewed and agreed to her. My father put a stop to it when he found out. It's the only thing I have of hers. She gave it to me before I left for the wall. You shouldn't give it away. I'm giving it to you. That's really sweet, Sam, but... Keep it safe for me. What is that? A thimble? Until I come back. I don't know nothing about sewing. My so you don't sew. like poke your thumb. Oh, you stick it over your thumb? Mm-hmm. Well, what if he finds it and beats her up and throws her out in the snow? Her dad? The color grade on the show is crazy. Agreed. Browse Brian, what here? It's time for his lessons. Is that all Hodor, Hodor does is like- Just He just says Hodor, right? Yeah, but is that all he does is just like hunt, like brings Bran around? Right, but why doesn't he talk? Is he not allowed to? Um, I don't know. Or does he just not have the capability? <laughs> the wolf. His eyes. Is Hodor dangerous? Every night it's the same. I'm running through the godswood, sniffing the dirt, tasting blood in my mouth. Like a wolf. Old Nan used to tell me stories about magical people who could live inside stags. That's exactly what they are, Bran. Stories. So she was lying. They don't exist. Well, they may have done, but they're gone from the world, along with much else. These are dreams, Bran. Nothing more. No, my dreams are different. I dreamt of my father dying. Andricon had the same dream. What about all the dreams you had that didn't come true? <coughs> this link is made of Valyrian steel. Only one maester in a hundred wears it on his chain. Well, we learned that in the lore thing. Right. That's a rare one. Time's no different. And what boy doesn't secretly wish for hidden powers? I mean, I know I did. I wanted to be Spider-Man. <laughs> if 
for all my efforts, I got no more out of it than a thousand boys before me. He's basically saying it's a bunch of hoobla. Maybe magic once was a mighty force in the world, not anymore. The dragons are gone, giants are dead, and the children of the forest forgotten. I ain't forgot about them. Mm -mm. I wish I knew more about them. I want to see them on the film. <laughs> The What's Ramley doing? <laughs> Is he married? Oh, she's doing the thing Rob asked her to do. Like the loyal mother she is. Oh, this sound was tough though. The guy with like the copper looking one. Mm-hmm. And his crown is tough too. Yeah. You know, like the costumes and everything in this show is amazing. Are, they're literally some of the best I've they ever are, seen like, in the world. Crazy. Like, look at hers. That, she looks insane. cool. It's like a multi million dollar budget for this. Oh, episode. no. I yield. Ain't that Renly's dude? Well fought. Broke. That was nice. At least he didn't make him kill him like Joffrey would have. Right. He'd have ripped his intestines out. That, that knight armor goes hard. Right, move your help. A girl? Okay. Ooh, she just whooped his butt. I've seen Sir Loris bested once or twice, but never quite in that fashion. Now, now, my love, my brother fought valiantly for you. Her brother. That he did, my queen. But there can only be one champion, Brienne of Tarth. May I ask anything of me you desire? It is within my power? It is yours. Your grace, I ask the honor of a place in your king's guard. Okay. Nice. I will be one of your seven, pledge my life to yours, and keep you safe from all harm. I wonder if women do that a lot. Hey, if they can fight like Go. that, he said okay. I oh, he's upset. Guard. I mean, he's young. He can get better. No, but he's upset because he probably wanted that position. That's like his... Pleased to see you. May I present my wife, Marjorie of House Tyrell. Marjorie. You are very welcome here, Lady Stark. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, she seems nice. Most kind. They both my do, lady, in a way. I swear to you, I will see the Lannisters answer for your husband's murder. I'll bring you Joffrey's head. Oh, so he's trying to act a little hard. He's got my vote. It will be enough to know that justice was done, my lord. Your grace. And you should kneel when you approach the king. Okay. Oh. Lady Stark is an honored guest. Has your son marched against Tywin Lannister yet? I do not sit on my son's war councils. And if I did, I would not share his strategies with you. Let's go. Pack with us. He should come himself, not hide behind his mother's skirts. My son is yeah, fighting he's busy. a war, not playing at one. <laughs> he doesn't want to insult, though. Or she doesn't want to insult him at the same time. Right. Don't worry, my lady. Our war is just beginning. Yeah, he's about to try to take the throne. So he married a high um, house, right. a Tyrell. Marjorie Tyrell, right? Mm-hmm. And that her brother is obviously his boy, his boyfriend. That's drama. Oh, okay, I see. I Let's wonder go. if they know that. I have 100,000 men at my command. All the might of the Stormlands and the Reach. It's a game to you, isn't it? Because it won't last. Because they are the nights of summer and winter is coming. Escort Lady Catelyn to her tent. She's tired from her journey. At once, Your Grace. <laughs> Shall I return after? That won't be necessary. I would pray a while. Dang she's tall <laughs> bravely today lady brienne fought for my king she Do was tough on the battlefield i love that armor she sounds so loyal you hear this and if it please you brienne's enough i'm no lady no you still a lady you just whoop butt no problem but hey if she don't want to be she ain't what am i to say i love the way that this is filmed the aperture yeah you can like hear the the fire and stuff uh-oh <laughs> perfect perfect timing i know y'all walked in at the right time so what's up sis old sister <laughs> what you doing here <laughs> Are you angry with me? <laughs> it's not my fault you didn't recognize me. The last time I saw you, you looked like a fat little boy. <laughs> you were a fat little boy too. <laughs> I recognized you. And you let Why him do you that? Tell me. I wanted to see who you were first, and I did. The plans are made. It's time you heard them. Pardon. I'm glad he walked in. <laughs> Changed his conversation. The wolf pup has gone south. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Rob. He's tangling with the lion in the westerlands, the north. Tangling with the lion. Right the Ooh. Hold on. Not often do I deposit. Guys, so he just said the north is for the taking. So he's about to fight Rob. Right. But but Theon's trying to get them to be on Rob's side. Right. And this guy's sitting here shaming his son, basically. Like, but the Starks killed their family. Oh, no, no, no. Every stronghold will yield to us one by one. Winterfell may defy us for a year, but what of it? The rest shall be ours. But that's not the plan. Yara, my daughter, will take 30 long ships to attack Deep Wood Mott. I've always wanted a castle. And what's my role in all this? You'll take a ship to raid the fishing villages on the stony shore. Hey, shit. <laughs> you give her 30 and I get one. <laughs> the sea bitch. We thought she'd be perfect for you. <laughs> and to fight fishermen. Be careful of their nets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they might catch you on one. Yeah. I fought with Rob Stark. I know his men. 
You won't give up the North so easily. They won't even know we're there until Do you know of it, late. woman? I'm a proven warrior. Your brothers were warriors. Both of them dead. The hands of those you seem so eager to protect. I just wonder if it's not wiser to wait. Why risk going against the North if they would be our allies? Rise up against them and they could destroy us. If we pledge fealty to them, they'll give us Casterly Rock. What are our words? Our words. Oh, man. Stubborn. We do not sow. We do not sow. We are ironborn. We're not slaves. Well, like that. We are ironborn. We do not plow the fields or toil in the mine. We take what is ours. Your time with the wolves has made you weak. What is ours? The Iron Throne? Because you're ironborn? You act as if I volunteered to go. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me away, if you remember, the day you bent the knee to Robert Baratheon after Ooh. he crushed you. Did you take what was yours then? Oh. <laughs> Hit him back. We. Why don't you just go back to Winterfell, away. dude? You gave me away like I was some dog you didn't want anymore. Aww. And now you curse me because I've come home. That was true, though. You, you think that was true? Bow uh. down to your other family. I have no other family. Make your choice, Theon, and do it quickly. Our ship sail with or without you. Dude, I'll be honest with you. I ain't messing with dad. And my sister's dead to me after that. So, I, you know, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Winterville and be I mean, Rob's buddy. I say all these things as if I would actually do that. Like, I understand the complexities and your name is your you honor and all that. I get it. Voice down. Why? You think your father can hear me? He's 300 miles away! I might be able to bring you into the castle kitchen. You'd pose as a scullion. A kitchen one? But <gasps> Cleaning pots? Is that how my lion wants to see me? Your lion wants to see you alive. Your lion. <laughs> my sister wants to hurt me. She'll look for any weakness she can find. She can't know about you. I'm the weakness. It's a compliment, my lady. How is being a weakness <laughs> not listening. a compliment? I know. Language can be a bit tricky here. Oh, I'm too stupid to understand. Mm -hmm. The stupid foreign girl. I am not. A kitchen wench. Well, what are you gonna do? I mean, take what you can get, He's right? He's trying to tell her, like, Cersei will, like, take your head off. <laughs> yeah. She'll torture you, bro. Dang, oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. It's a sucky dinner to be at. Because where's Joffrey at? <laughs> I'm not Joffrey in time to be married. I'd be happy being Soon, there. Darling, when the war is over. Mother says I'll have a new gown for the ceremony, but yours will be ivory. Since you're the bride. She's like, yeah, you can't, can't wait. The princess just spoke to you. I'm sure your dress will be beautiful, Marcella. Counting the days until the fighting's done. And I can pledge my love to the king in sight of the gods. <laughs> She's so proud of her. <laughs> She's so scripted, like, it's crazy. <laughs> I know. Is Joffrey going to kill Sansa's brother? What the heck? <laughs> Why is that little boy asking that? She's like, mm, wine, got a drink. Do you like it. that? I don't think so. Aww. Even if he does, Sansa will do her duty. Don't you, little dove? Little dove. She's like, yeah, big dove. Big bird looking queen. <laughs> queen of smirk. Dude, her face is what kills me. It's that constant look on her face. I don't know. She's really good at doing it. I feel bad for Sansa, though, because she's low-key a hostage. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Shamey Lady, your new handmaiden. Let's go. I didn't know I needed Maybe. a new handmaiden. You're not from here. No. I know what you mean, though. The story's evolving. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Waiting for you to tell me what to do. I shouldn't have to tell you to do things. You should just do them. What things? Change my linens, wash my clothing, scrub the floor, and brush my hair. She's like, um, this isn't really my thing. No. You said to brush Not your- now. Your chamber pot is empty. You better have some respect, man. She's <laughs> awfully close to Joffrey. Have you ever been a handmaid before? <laughs> yes. For whom? Lady Zorif. There is no Lady Zorif in this city. She wasn't in this city. Well, I don't know how they did things in that city, but in this city, handmaidens wait on ladies, not the other way around. And I don't have time to answer a thousand questions and teach you how to do your job. <laughs> <laughs> you sound in real stress, my girl. <laughs> mm -mm. Just brush my hair. That was some good acting right there by Sansa. I know. That was strong. You know, because she doesn't get to even, like, have a facial expression. No, nah, she can't even, like, just take Thank a second to breathe. Right. I've encountered this problem before, my lord. I'm so grateful to have a man of your vast knowledge and wisdom on my side. Everyone was pointing out how mobile, actually, Master Pycelle is. Remember when he was doing the squats and stuff? Right. And he acts like he's struggling so much. These are perilous times. And the crown must Oh, in the comments they were saying that? Yeah. Yeah. And these alliances must often be sealed in matrimony. But the queen mustn't know. Oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. <laughs> I shall be silent as the grave. I'm brokering an alliance with House Martell of Dawn. Princess Marcella will wed their youngest son when she comes of age, ensuring their loyalty and their army should we need it. What? Marcella, 
Sent away to dawn. Cersei's daughter? Yeah, the little girl at the table. Queen mustn't know. The queen mustn't know that? Oh, the queen mustn't know. I love conversations that begin this way. <laughs> Plan to marry this is so bad. To Theon Greyjoy. What? That's gross. Theon Greyjoy. Forgive me, my lord, but how? <laughs> he grew up a ward of Winterfell. He fights for Rob Stark. Precisely. Theon's father loathes the Starks and will convince the boy to come to our side. Greyjoy can destroy the Northern Army from within and we can have his father's ships. Oh no. But remember, you must tell no one. So tell no one. Oh what? my god, I feel like he's just doing this as he disturb the Aaron of the vet. Robin Aaron <laughs> Liza is not fond of He's me. lied. He said he's going to marry everybody to her. That will convince her to let bygones be bygones. She imprisoned you. She tried to execute you and you offer her son a princess. For men in our position, holding grudges can be an encumbrance, don't you think? <laughs> and I suppose you want me to broker this. Who better? Is he saying who he can trust to see who Cersei thinks he's going to marry the daughter off to? It seems like you're right. Yeah. <laughs> What's in it for me? He's like hedging his bets or something. The gratitude mm -hmm. of the people of Westeros, the adoration of the king for bringing the veil back into the fold, and Harrenhal. Oh. Harrenhal is cursed. Never took you for a superstitious man. By all means, tear it down and rebuild. You'll be able to afford it. Plan to make you lord of the Riverlands. With a single stroke, you'd make me one of the greatest lords in the realm. You served my family well. So did Janos Slint. And he was given Harrenhal too, until you snatched it away. Mm -hmm. I need you to deliver Lysa Aaron. I didn't need Janos Slint. Oh. He's at the wall. Remember, the queen mustn't know. Right. <laughs> that should be the title of this episode. Absolutely. The queen mustn't know. Them two got their nose in everything. It's crazy. That's not your wife, friendly. What a re- <laughs> <laughs> What is it? A member of the king's guard. Oh, his feelings are hurt still. Someone mm. wasn't humiliated enough already. I mean, she earned it. I mean, that's the one thing she asked for. Brienne is a very capable warrior. You're jealous of Brienne the beauty. Don't make me laugh. There's another tear requires your attention. Oh, so he had to marry the sister to to get the money of the Tyrells. Because that guy said he was rich before, remember? Yeah, he's basically just going around making all of his campaign promises at this point. Shall I bring her to you? I should warn you, I've had quite a bit of wine. As is your right, you are a king. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely gown. You think so? I can't decide how I like it better. This way? This way. <laughs> he's like, so what? Need it. Beauty most desired is the beauty can see it. <laughs> Concealed. I guess she just doesn't know. I don't know. Must be the wine. I... Yeah, she must not know. Do you want my brother to come in and help? Oh, she knows. <laughs> well, he could get you started. I know he wouldn't mind. Or I can turn over and you can pretend I'm him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So therefore, she does not care. <laughs> There's no need for us to play games. Your enemies aren't happy about us. They want to tear us apart. And the best way to stop them is to put your baby in my belly. We can try again later. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard, right? <laughs> like, Loki, I'm not trying to be weird, but just do it, bro. You are a king. So she, like, wants to be a queen, though. Yeah, absolutely. So She's got ambition. Yeah. Marcella is my only daughter. <laughs> oh, my God. Marcella's a princess. Some would say she was born for this. I will not let you ship her off to Dawn as I was shipped off who, to Who was it? Who was it? Dawn is the safest place for her. The Martells loathe us. That's why we need to seduce them. We're going to need their support in the war your son started. She'll be a hostage. A guest. You think the piece of paper father gave you keeps you safe? <laughs> Ned Stark had a piece of paper too. And you ripped it up like a paper shredder. You cannot stop it. No! <laughs> Just how safe do you think Marcella is if the city falls? Do you want to see her raped? Make no mistake. They'll mount her pretty little head on a spike right beside yours. Get <laughs> Dang. I mean, he's just speaking truth, right? Yeah, basically. I mean, she doesn't want to hear that. I understand. Who did she, he tell Dorne to? He said it was one of the three. Because he said Theon Dre Greyjoy to one, and he <laughs> said Robin Aaron to the other. Oh, he has a choice to make. Burning it. Wow, he's turning bro. on him. That's what that's signifying. Or is he trying to make it look like it's a little struggle he has going on? The distress paper. Oh, no. no. <laughs> but there you got proven up over there. <laughs> Great. Oh, my God. So Theon really right now is just caught in such a rock and a hard place. He's caught between a casterly rock. Oh, no. He's about to be you like. Would this day consecrate your faith to the drowned god? I would. Dang, you got to kneel in that water like that? Bless him with salt. Bless him with stone. Is he like, you're a great joy Bless again, son? Steel. His dead may never die. But his dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger than stand. So they like some true pirates over there. Right, I'm not liking this. He's about to go find somebody's dog to kill. Ugh, stupid. I'm looking for John Wick in Winterfell.
my how to move. I'm gonna hit their dogs too. I don't appreciate being made a fool of, dwarf. <laughs> if Rosella marries the Martell boy, she can't very well marry Robin Aaron, can she? No. no. <laughs> Sorry about that. And Harren Hall, that's off the table as well. Yes, I fear so. Wow, he made such a promise. Leave me out of your next deception. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. You were to be the centerpiece of my next deception. My brother Jamie rots in a northern stockade. I would see him released. That's where you come in. Rob Stark will never release the Kingslayer. No, he won't. But his mother might. How would you like to see your beloved cat again? Uh oh. Find him. And he has company. Almost hate to interrupt. No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> There's Bronze. What is the meaning of this? I am your loyal servant. So loyal that you told the Queen about my plans to send Marcella to Dawn. No, never. That's who it was. It's a falsehood. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Varys the Spider. See, I, <laughs> I told Littlefinger that I planned to wed her to Robin Aaron. I told no one that I was offering her to the Dornish. No one but you. Cut off his manhood. There are no goats, half man. We'll make do. <laughs> How long have you been spying for my sister? All I did, I did for House Lannister. I've always been his servant since the days of the Mad King. <laughs> I don't like his beard. What? Oh, no. No. Yeah, oh. No. <laughs> How many hands have you betrayed, Pycelle? Eddard Stark, John Aaron. He, he knew the tr truth about, about, about the Queen and, and the way he, he planned to act. So you did he poison him? him? Oh my God, no. he did. Never. But you let him die. No. Make sure he succumbed. <laughs> he said he didn't. Get him out of my sight. Throw him in one of the black cells. Oh no, 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 no. no. Oh God. Don't, you can't do this. Be in trouble. <laughs> What's Cersei gonna do when her spy is in there? Right. It looks like they're about to have their own little civil war with Tyrion. <laughs> He's coming in there wrecking things. Everyone who becomes hand of the king comes and makes these crazy moves. Right. Like just selling the daughter. Did he did he even talk to anyone in Dorne? I didn't see that happen. You will be pleased to know our mutual friend is doing quite well in Lady Sansa's service. One of my better ideas. And it seems the Grand Maester has found his way into a black cell. Mm -hmm. Well played, my Lord Han. Should I be worried? The small council grows smaller every day. Council mm -hmm. has a reputation for serving past hands poorly. I don't mean to follow Ned Stark to the grave. Right. Power is a curious thing, my Lord. Are you fond of riddles? Am I about to hear one? <laughs> Three great men sit in a room. A king, a priest, and a rich man. Between them stands a common cell sword. Each great man bids the sellsword kill the other two. Who lives, who dies. Depends on the sellsword. Does it? He has a sword, the power of life and death. But if it's swordsmen who rule, why do we pretend kings hold all the power? When Ned Stark lost his head, who was truly responsible? Joffrey? The executioner? Or something else? I've decided I don't like riddles. <laughs> That was some deep thinking right Power there. Power resides where men believe it resides. Right, that's what I was saying earlier. It's a trick. And it's, Cersei it's knows it. perception. Absolutely. A very small man can cast a very large shadow. What a quote. Whew. He's basically saying, man. Tyrion's about to rise up. Yeah, he's saying, let's just start making this empire crumble little by little. But I, I just don't understand. What do they call it? The drain the swamp? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to drain the swamp, okay? We're going to drain it like a, like a thing. <laughs> you drain it. <laughs> you should be sleeping. Tomorrow's a long march. <clears throat> Thirty miles of it on pistols. So she's not actually going to the Night's Watch. They're dropping her off in Winterfell. Hmm. I'm too dumb to realize that. Yeah, but uh, I'm scared for her. Because no one's going to be there but Bran. for the flavor, to be honest. <laughs> what? How do you sleep? Same as most men, I think. You've seen things. Horrible things. I've seen some pretty things too, not. How do you sleep when you when you have those things in your head? You well, that's what the alcohol is for, right? I made damn sure. I close my eyes and I see them up there, all of them standing there. Joffrey, the Queen, and my sister. That's traumatic, honestly, for her. You know, we've got something in common, me and you. You know that. I must have been a couple of years older than you. I saw my brother stabbed through the heart right on our doorstep. <laughs> You want much of a villain what skewered him. Willem, the lad's name was. He ran off before anyone could spit. And I just stood there watching my brother die. Here's the funny part. I can't picture my brother's face anymore. But Willem, oh, he was a nice looking boy. He had good white teeth, blue eyes. That's crazy. One of those dimpled chins all the girls like. 
I would think about him when I was working. It got to the point where I would say his name every night before I went to bed. Willem. Willem. The prayer, almost. Well, one day, Willem came riding back into town. I buried an axe so deep into Willem's skull I had to bury him with it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he sounds like Robert Brathian. I know. Willem's horse got me to the wall, and I've been wearing black ever since. That's what he did. That's his origin story. Sleep right. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, man. He wanted to kill that man on a spiritual level, basically. Get up, you lazy sons of ours! Mm. yourselves! I like his character. Right. Because he sticks up for Arya. No, I'm not afraid. Keep out of sight. And he knows about Gendry, too, obviously. So they came back, basically, with a lot more men. Outside! No! <gasps> He's gonna put that on, and they're gonna think they killed Gendry. Yeah. Oh, dude, you are right. Because I saw him grab that thing, and that's the only way they have to identify him. Right. Is his mask he's on about? Yeah. Oh, not that little boy. He's so young. And he's like a steward, the ain't he? bastard crow? No, not Why yet. You bastards here. Who's asking? These men from the capital requested our assistance. Drop your weapons in the name of the king. Which king will that be? In the name of King Joffrey. Drop the your false weapons. kings. I don't think I will. <laughs> so be it. Oh, no way. Oh, he's about to die. Man. You think? Does you think he doesn't have armor on? I mean, I didn't think his chances was good, but they're doing that one at a time stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. This show seems a little too dude, realistic. Dude, why not mm. Yorin, dude? I, he's a good guy. All the good guys are They had to see that? Great. Wow. Wow. Is he going? They're not going to fight, right? Oh, it's on fire. Oh my gosh. Man, you better keep it moving. Man, so young and gullible. They're about to snatch you up. Those guys are in a cage for a reason, probably. She's smart. She gave it to him and ran. Oh, he remembers. He's like, I'll never forget that act of kindness. He looked at it like um, he was going to remember her face or something. Oh my gosh. What do we have here? No! That's a fine little blade. It's Valyrian steel, right? Maybe I'll pick my teeth. Right, it is. That's needle, right? Yeah, but they know that, like, a rich person has that or something. I yield! Help. Oh my gosh. Help me! Something wrong with your leg, boy. Look at it. Don't get smart, though. Mm -mm. Can you walk? You gotta carry me. You might not. All right. Oh my god. I thought he was really going to do it. Carry him, he says. <laughs> okay, that whole idea of the helmet thing d done. Mm. Wrong theory. Bad theory. A named Gendry. Well, I think the show Give made you up. think that, though. Because they, they place that in there for a purpose. They're not. They know what they're doing. They're playing chess out here. Tricking me up. Y'all need to run. Don't confess. You want Gendry? Oh, that was him. <laughs> Say that was him. <gasps> you already got him. Is she about to give him up? No. Ew. He loved that helmet. Yes. There you go. Dang, that went by so fast. I know. Holy cow, that felt like a 20 minute episode. I know. All right, guys, that was uh, season two, episode three. Babe, what do you think about this episode? I thought a lot of things moved in it. I thought a lot of crazy things were set up. The thing that would confuse me the most about this episode was the thing we were just talking about, about how Tyrion kind of did that trickery. Because right. the thing was, I don't, I didn't see him put any of those plans in place before he did that. Right. But then it seems like the one that Cersei found out was the one he's going with. Right, absolutely. So that's why I'm like confused. Did he do that? Just just see who he could trust? Or is he actually going to send that young lady off? Right. Well, he was talking to Cersei as if it was really their best play to do that. Right. Right. And I mean, because, I agreed with him. But but they are kind of right. They do need something. They do, do need some type of army or anything like that just to protect themselves for what's to come because it seems like multiple things could get them. And it seems like he's also thinking about money. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, a little confusing. It was moving a little fast there, but ultimately we learned that Master Pycelle is a snake. Mm -hmm. And I thought that he was the one who killed John Aaron, but um, if he didn't kill him, man, he definitely knows who did. He's complicit in that. And so now he's in a dungeon. So right. Tyrion's coming in and I, you know, it's really hard to understand. Like the theme of the episode is power dynamics, right? And right. Tyrion comes in and he's like, hey, I'm the hand of the king. And everyone's like, okay, well, you know, we're willing to put Master Pycelle in a dungeon because the hand of the king says so because he's family. And you see, it's just really all about who has the power like i always right. think to myself it would suck to be the guard if i was a guard i would just be like bro i don't like who do i listen to yeah like, I don't you're do telling me one thing but i know that's not right because we're with this family and right at least if you're like the police you get to ride around in a car by yourself <laughs> but these dudes just have to march around all day dude that would suck. we also we also learned that theon is not being loyal to the starks any longer because he took that little oath in the with the water and the all that it's hard to know like how he's feeling internally and emotionally i mean if i had to guess i would say he feels a strong loyalty to his family because mainly it's the culture of this world yeah you know i'm wondering if he's gonna like do something like behind the like he's not saying it because he's gonna do something sneaky to like maybe help rob by doing this hopefully. that's the vibe i'm getting i think he's yeah definitely hopefully gonna betray his dad because his dad's a piece of crap i mean, I mean his, his dad, dad doesn't care about him his dad right. sold him off and then got mad when he came back to be like hey i'm can we team up with these people even though they don't get me wrong they are wrong for killing the brothers well, I need to see. I need to see what happened. Yeah, just I'm not like sure them. what happened, but they killed the brothers, and I can understand why you would be upset about that. I'll be honest, man. I just personally think Theon's brothers are going to be a bunch of muskrats. So <laughs> if they got killed off by the Starks, then they probably will kill John Wick's yeah. brother, John Wick's <laughs> yeah, guinea man, pig. Absolutely. And not to mention your his sister straight up sexually assaulted him on the back of a horse. But, the first time but he met she, her, so. it was obvious that the the dad is ready to just hand down things to her because well, Theon, she's been there. And they have Theon a got one chip and she gets 30. <laughs> well, she's proven because she's been there. And that's what right. Theon was saying. He's like, you sent me off. Don't you well, like it's not his fault? It's not his fault that <laughs> dad said <laughs> and then he just said, walked off. He didn't care one bit, bro. He said, Facts though, gotta go. He said, I don't like facts. Peace. <laughs> 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 facts get on my nerves, bro. Yeah, gotta go. <laughs> What's um, dead made ever die. <laughs> I am born. Um, yeah, man. It's just stressing me out because I feel like ultimately lines are definitely getting drawn, you know, and it's getting a little complicated to know because it's a very morally gray show. So it's hard to know exactly where the lines lay. But, you know, one thing that I I really noticed in this episode is Renly would make a really good king, especially how effed up this world is. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, there's not a lot of great candidates. So Renly's definitely one of the better ones. I mean, it just goes to show in the episode, like when they were doing that duel, like, they didn't die. Like, no one had to die and give up their life and for, he wasn't like sitting know. there getting like a kick out of it he was just he, like he was when the girl won he was like i'll give you whatever you want basically it's yeah. just it's weird because like some people seem to be of the mindset that like you know bloodshed should be minimal and some people seem to be of the mindset that you know maximum bloodshed so it's just really weird to see like right those dynamics come into play and i guess that's really what separates people in this world is you either love bloodshed or you don't so right i don't know man but pieces are starting to come into play cersei's pissed that's never good mm -hmm. um what else man? um what else did happen um i i think i don't know if catelyn stark won over renly i mean renly did that happen i'm getting the and vibe. also renly he's not gonna fight with the lannisters he's too good you can right. just tell that his character arc leans towards goodness so, so he's gonna be with catelyn right yeah I mean, but renly also it seems like he made a kind of smart move to marry like obviously into the tyrell family because they're they obviously have money but also because obviously he can be with his boyfriend and his wife don't care <laughs> right yeah, I mean, she was like, she figured out really. She just wants to be a queen, it seems. Well, she walked in the room like she already knew that, and then she acts surprised. So I don't really know. I don't know about um, that, but for me, I just know that she was really gun ho on them just having a kid and pretty much her being a queen. So I don't know if that means like that's her ambition or is she just trying to make her family like happy by getting a claim to the throne? Because if they win the throne, the Tyrells will be like a big family. Right. And Cersei's son said that he didn't really want to see the death of Rob Stark. And I think because he had sensitivity towards Sansa, um, mainly because, you know, he's probably just in the presence of Sansa, you know, I'm sure if she lived up in Winterfell and he just heard about her, it, you know, there'd be no sympathy because right. you know, he's human like that. But, but she lives next to him daily. It just goes to show that like, like, the Lannisters aren't evil per se. You know, it's not like so deep in their blood necessarily. Do you get what I'm trying to right. say? It seems like it's kind of taught. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And it just seems like it. I guess really the point of it is to just emphasize that it's not really like Cersei's. It's not like a genetic thing with Cersei where she's just evil or something. Mm -hmm. It's just that like she makes choices to just suck. 
Right. And it really like puts the blame on her and really like makes you forces the viewer to really like put the onus at her feet. And and you know I think the reason why Cersei just got so upset with Tyrion when she like shoved him and stuff is because Cersei kind of got in that situation herself. She got married off because she remember she was supposed to marry Rhaegar Tar Targaryen when we were watching the lore. Yeah, the lore, yeah. And then he didn't want to marry her. He wanted to marry someone else. Which was one of the coolest things that we discovered on that. Right. You were like Cersei was supposed to marry Rhaegar. And I was like, yeah, what the heck? that's crazy. So that was cool. Go watch that. So guys. she had to get married to Robert, which sucked because he would like he loved. Ned's sister or whatever so for Cersei she pretty much married that guy with no chance like just no chance so she kind of got put in the same situation where she just gets married off yeah. so when her daughter got put in that same situation I think that's why she reacted to it so like dramatically I understand but I, it's just hard to like yeah it's yeah, hard yeah, to yeah, like yeah, her but yeah, I yeah. totally get no, why I get she it. did right. that I understand right. her emotion I mean people keep saying in the comments like Cersei's misunderstood she's not evil she just really loves her family I mean I think she's evil but I can't believe it. Uh, at least like one or two people said she's not evil. She just really loves her family and that makes her lean towards well, but, evil. But, but it's still evil. But she just seems evil to me. But maybe not the ultimate evil. Joffrey just seems like the ultimate evil. Right. Just like a Just, just like, like a wanting tyrant, Ned right? Stark's head. Like a kid like, with that a was just so glass. evil. Yeah, just evil. Crazy episode. <laughs> really cool character. We met Brienne. Uh, awesome. Oh, Tyrion. She just seems like a loyal gal. I don't really know much about her. Yeah, she seems really loyal. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing that caught my attention with her is she made the comment, I'm no lady. And I don't know if that's because she doesn't like that, like that title, if she doesn't like to be referred to that way, or if it's because you know she just she's you know she's a warrior so she doesn't feel like a lady and she feels like guys don't really look at her that way so she just it seems to me like she just wants to say? be like like you know how you know how jamie's kind of the head guy of the king's guard mm -hmm. that's what the position she wants so she's gonna follow renly to like to the throne so she can do that right and i think that's like maybe her dream or something yeah for sure for sure um, because like she, that was like immediately what she wanted. Like she said that and she was just thrilled to do it. I don't know if, I don't know if she's a good character or bad character, honestly, yet. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, but she just she seems, seems nice. good to me. The show, real, I, I've said it before, the show really has a way of letting you know right off the bat, okay, good character bad character and then as we meet them they sort of like like the good for example the good characters will fall into the gray and the bad characters will fall into a gray yeah but the show sort of like well at least so far the show's sort of done a thing where they've like sort of like brought them back a little bit if that makes sense like mm -hmm. they've been kind of bad but they came back right like ned did some things that wasn't so honorable in a way but he came back same with robert brathian i don't know he's weird he was just sort of gray all around yeah i don't know when when we watched the lore it made me like robert brathian more because i realized how good of a soldier he was i guess uh, for me he just was a house. drunk guy that i seen what do i say saying? all the time i'll be walking around the house saying it all the time she he, he always is like ned what do you think what's all you doing ned? i kill her every night <laughs> in my dreams i kill her every night ned. Kill what's him all you doing night, ned? ned? <laughs> come on ned because that guy's voice is awesome love his voice man um i don't know guys i'm having so much fun watching this this uh this series there's so much going on in it so many of you guys have seen it before so you know there's so many little details you guys are picking up on sorry if we missed some of those mrs october is snapping on them guys but well like i try to when i'm editing i try to like remember everyone in the scene's name because right. it just like helps me honestly just remembering their name is like 90 percent of just like learning their back remembering their backstory yeah, i guess story, absolutely, yeah. it's tough yeah it's tough but it's fun man uh uh, the stakes are getting higher. I feel myself getting more invested. I really hope you guys are getting more invested in our journey also. This is once in a lifetime for us guys. So you guys have been saying this is one of the greatest shows to ever be put on television. And so far I'm agreeing with you. So far, man, this just sh this show has a layer of depth and complexity in the politics. And yeah, like I said, man, you could really, you could really create like a, you could create like a whole fake like news media, just whole complex world just centered around like covering the politics of the, you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like this world could really just. The writer of this book you could expand was the story incredible. Forever. The writer of this right. book, George R. R. Martin, right? George R. R. Martin. He was incredible. He was, he thought of everything. Never uh, heard of the guy before. Apologize about that. Um, Wasn't exactly the world's biggest bookworm. I went through like a couple year period when I was a kid, like a lot of us did. But guys, man, we are having the time of our lives watching this. It's awesome. It's crazy. It's it's uncomfortable. It's cringy. It's all that. And if you want more of it, man, just like, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. Turn on the notification bells, by the way. But over on Patreon, man, you do get the full episode, man, uncut, unfiltered, unedited. So go over there, check that out, cop it. It's not where all much. that stuff that we're taking out of this YouTube thing. Because YouTube. Is out. 
YouTube is a greedy beast, man, and it tries to take every dollar it can. So a lot of this stuff I have to cut out, and a lot of it is just I already know it's not gonna make it. So we do our best to keep as much as we can in, but you know we can't keep in everything. You got anything else you wanna say, sweet girl? No, we should get into the next one. Let's go.